All right, so how you doing, Coach? Nice to meet you for the first time. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, you all got a big victory today. Now you're tied for a second in yep. the Big South. How big is this? It's big. I mean, you know, especially, you know, where we started and especially in conference to where we are now and being down two guys just – getting better and better. And, you know, you can see the guys believing in each other, believing in themselves. And, um, you know, the, the crazy thing is we got a quick turnaround, so we can't be too, you know, we can't be too high on this game because, you know, we got upstate on Saturday. And then Josiah, Josiah in the, at the end of the game. Yeah. His defense, and then he hit the two free throws to kind of clinch the game. Yeah. How big was he tonight? I know he's one of your three. Yeah, your guys. yeah he, he was big. I mean, and you think about – the season that Joe's had thus far, you know, it's been up and down and, you know, he had a few games where he's struggling, but he, you know, he just, you know what you're going to get out of him in terms of everyday work ethic. And, you know, for him to make those plays, especially down the stretch is, is, is really good for him and his confidence going forward. And you all went down, I think by as much as nine mm -hmm. in the second half, but you all rallied back. You all kept fighting. Is that something that you said in a timeout in the huddle? What was that? Um, I don't know. I mean, I say it all the time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I thought our body language was was really good. I, I thought we had opportunities where we weren't scoring the ball, where we could have, you know, got emotional. And we didn't. We just stayed the course and, um, you know, just chipped away at it. We didn't take crazy shots on offense. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of them, especially in that atmosphere. Sometimes you can get caught up and, and get too emotional. And we didn't do that. You had four guys in double figures. Yeah. Right? Is like you all's team basketball clearly was was the story of the game. Yeah, um, and you know we got thirteen new guys from last year, and just to have guys that are super unselfish, and especially in this day and age and this climate that we're in in college athletics is special. So you know it's a testament to the guys we have. So you know they don't really care who gets the credit, and you know it shows because like you said, so many guys stepped up and different scores and. You know, that's that's special to have. And you had two guys out tonight with an illness. Who, who were the two players? Uh, Sal Caressi and um, Oni Eziakudo. And was there was them not being able to play, was that a big loss, you think, for you all today? You all got the win, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, they, I mean, th those are two guys that play, you know, play a good amount of minutes, especially um, Oni. And, you know, I, I was proud of our guys because, you know, we didn't make excuses. We just figured out a way and, and guys stepped up. I mean, Ibu Yamazaki comes in and, you know, he hadn't played that much and hits a big three and has some good defensive possession. So, you know, I was proud of the guys that, you know, stepped up in their absence. Um, if I could chat about the, uh, the impact of the crowd tonight, if you guys could kind of yeah. sense that on the court. Yeah, no, it, it, was, it, was, it was great atmosphere. You know, and you know, shout out to the to the students, the community, city of Radford. Um, you know, it was loud. It was loud. I, you know, there's a few times where we couldn't hear play calls, and um, but you know, that's that's the atmosphere that we want to create every game, and you know, it's, it's special. And and I appreciate you know everybody coming out. I mean, yeah, uh, <clears throat> pretty much just trying to stay aggressive, uh, and also get my teammates involved. Uh, you know, they they wanted me to get aggressive or stay aggressive, attack the basket when I could. Um, so that's what I did. On the last play of the game, it was your defensive effort on the other team's point guard. They got the stop. What was your goal going into that possession? Yeah, well, uh, Coach Pete emphasized, he said I had like zero boards, so I need to start uh, <clears throat> rebounding more in the second half. So I made an emphasis on that and then made a play. And then those last free throws, I mean, I know you probably felt the atmosphere in the crowd, but you knocked down one of them and it got you all the way. Yeah, I mean, how, how were you feeling while you were at the line? I just knew we needed one. We were up three, uh, nine seconds left to go, so. One would have did it, uh, two would have been, you know, more ideal, but got the job done anyway. And you're one of the returning three from last year's team. What type of mentality did you bring to the season? Uh, just a lot of energy, uh, focus, um, maturity, uh, you know, just trying to build this team back up. Um, you know, we had a whole new, brand new team, so just trying to make everybody comfortable uh, with the adjustment. And Brian, you started early shooting the ball really good from three. I think you kind of cooled off as the game went on, but overall, you had you were second in, in points today. Yeah. How do you think your game was? Um, see, for me, I don't really think about individual stats. For me, I'm just I'm just happy that we won the game today. Um, I feel like the game was very. Uh, it was like kind of circled on the calendar, and I feel like for us, for you know, because our last game before this was 
was Saturday. Yeah. So from Saturday till now, it was, you know what I'm saying, practice, weights, uh, treatment, and all that stuff. So I'm just happy that we came out with a win. Right. And then defensively, <clears throat> your left seemed to bother the other team. Is that something that coaches told you, like, hey, in zone defense or in man, you can easily bother other guards with your size? Yeah, it's actually funny because, like, the coaches tell me that, but I don't see it. But then, like, in the games, like, it actually happens. So, um, yeah, but no, like, the coaches tell me all the time. So I'm just I'm just in the spots I'm supposed to be in. And then this is your first year on the team, but this team did get swept last year by the same team. <clears throat> so is that – how big of a win is this for you all? Um, since I was in here last year, uh, I really can't uh, – comment on that but like the way that we were after the game I kind of felt from like the coaching staff and you know obviously <coughs> Joe Shaq um, and Derek as well kind of like their uh, reaction to it I kind of felt like it was kind of I guess important to them somewhat yeah and lastly just in the second half you all were down by a pretty big margin at one point but you all just kept fighting <coughs> is that just the mentality of the same yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Um, that's something that coach talks about a lot. And, uh, you know, we have senior captains like Joe and Shaq, and they kind of tell us that. So, yeah. Yeah, and then just, you know, kind of talk about that. Um, question for, for both of you guys. Talk about the impact of the crowd. Um, did you just kind of get a lift from them, and could you kind of sense it on the court? Oh, yeah, the atmosphere was crazy. You know, uh, big plays down the stretch. Uh, we felt the energy for sure. Um, it was surreal. You know, also, we, we want to thank the students uh, and the fans yeah. also for coming out. It was a big time. Yeah, uh, just to piggyback off of that, um, it was actually, I think, I think it was when I, uh, I stole the ball and passed it to um, Justin Archer for an and one. When I tell you I was screaming, but I couldn't hear my own scream. <laughs> right. That's when I was like, oh my goodness, it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to the students, fans, everyone that uh, supports us. Yeah. And how about the dunk you had to put your team up by one? I think it was like 56, 55. When you, when you're coming down the lane, you see kind of the seas part. Are you like mentally thinking like, yeah, I'm going to slam this ball? Honestly, yeah. no. I'm not gonna lie because when I was when I was attacking the basket, there was a guy on my left who picked up KG on the corner, and there was a guy who was on the right block. Mm -hmm. I think um, Quan was in the right corner. Mm -hmm. I thought he was gonna uh, shift over and then I'd pass it to Quan, mm -hmm. but he kind of just stayed there. And I saw the basket and I was like, Showtime! I might as well just try to dunk it. And I did. <laughs> well, that's all I got, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it.